Well, well, well. It's that time of year again when I go through my designer bag collection, but things are a little bit different this time because as we know, I moved to New York. I couldn't bring all of my bags with me, so I have left a selection in the UK. So these are the bags that made it through, and you know, there have been some additions since being here. So we're gonna go through all of those. I have also categorized these in three categories, okay? Ranked from least to most used. Category three, these are the ones we're starting off with, are the once in a whileers. Maybe they are occasion bags. Maybe they have a very specific use. Maybe I've just been a neglectful mother and they don't get used as much as they probably should be. Category two are the, are the uh, they get out and about a little bit more. Okay, once in a while, they're out. They see the outdoors, you know, on a semi-regular basis. Then we have category one. These are my ride or dies. These are my go-tos. These are the ones that I always just want to grab for, you know? So links to these bags will be below or in the shopping prompt on the screen. You're gonna need a drink or a snack, so settle in. Yes, I don't have any nails on because this is the second time filming this. As the first time I filmed this, I didn't plug in the microphone, but it's fine, you'd think. In my third year of doing this full time, these things shouldn't happen, but here we are. Okay, starting in category three, least used, kicking it off with, oh, she is iconic and she is a nuisance and my gosh, what a bag. This is the Bottega Veneta chain cassette. She's a commitment, okay, because not only visually, she's quite a lot to take in there. This is also in the colour Parakeet, which is, you know, of the Bottega green. But I've gone on about this before, and I also shall be stepping on the sofa so that you can get a better sort of crossbody view of her. Um, she is heavy, okay? And whilst I do like the fact that they clearly didn't skimp, okay, on cost for the weight of the chain, you've, I mean, you can't, like, I can't just wear this out today with a t-shirt, okay? Because guess what? that's gonna leave a bruise. So it's got to be like, I know what I'm wearing, there's maybe a little bit of shoulder padding, or she is going to be, you know, just a little top handle moment, and my little biceps are gonna get a workout. Otherwise, I mean, the leather is beautifully soft. Um, it's got an odd little sort of slide to open opening. She's got a little bag pillow in there. I contemplated getting rid of her recently and I was like, oh, I just can't. She really doesn't get much use because I've been bad to her, long and short of it. Jacquemus Le Chiquito, she is a controversial little gal. This is the men's version because it has the thick strap. A suede sort of vibe. Meta uh, metallic opening, magnetic opening, all of that. Your cards are going in here raw. No card holder, don't even bother. Don't even try. You're getting cards, keys, a lip gloss. Great, I like the way it hits on the body. She is a more, more of my, you know, one of my more neutral bags. It's not you, it's me, okay? So I need to work on that. Whilst we're on the category of Le Chiquitos, we know all about the mascot of this channel, okay? The tiny Jacques Mousse Le Petit Chiquito. This bag is entirely useless. I do not use it. She is here for comical effect. And like I said, she's the mascot of the channel. All right, you've got a tiny little popper here. Yes, there she goes, you know loving life. I do actually like pairing those two together as in like if it was like an event or something because it's just like a fun little like oh my gosh conversation starter. I don't think you're surprised that this is in the least used category. This is my Fendi Nano Baguette and whilst I'm actually at it even though she's sort of in category two and she's category three she is teensy weensy TBE tiny bag energy but she has this chunky little strap and that's really what drew me in because I was like oh my gosh the strap is bigger than she is. Also love this huge uh, baguette clasp which is the same size as the regular baguette clasp. Magnetic closure. Now the thing about this and also it's sort of a nylon-y, it's like a nylon -y fabric there. Why don't I use this as much? Because of the colours. The colours are very specific, so I am very much like it has to go with the look. Whereas something like this is obviously more neutral, even though she is a logo moment. Both of these also come with these thin little crossbody straps. These are very sad to me, okay? I find them very sort of like, 
neither here nor there like this isn't giving anything so i really do not use them crossbody with this one she is a top handle girl but they both have these little clasps on the back which i do love especially this one the demonstration is going to be entirely accurate but you get the vibe right i like it on a jean okay with a little belt loop hook her on oh my gosh you've got a little pouch for other things she gives utility in a way that i think is a little bit interesting and different the dior ramoa personal clutch ramoa now do this in the polycarbonate like plastic that they do for some of their cases that's not in collaboration that's a lot cheaper in case you like this vibe but you don't like the price point okay now this is all i was gonna say aluminium i don't know what that is to be honest with you anyway it pops open and you've got a space for cards and all of that so you wouldn't put your wallet in it because it's already got card slots i do really like this i don't know why maybe just like with some of the outfits that i've been wearing recently she's just not i don't know maybe but then also i mean this would work for today you know what she's coming out today i need to this is why I like doing this video once a year because honestly it makes me sort of like I like to challenge myself I have a lot of bags I have more bags than is in any way necessary to have okay and so of course things are going to like fall out of favor I'm going to get excited about some some points and others not and all of this right and so it makes me sort of semi rediscover my collection I also like this because everything is very close to the body all right you're not having to rummage it's all here it's all right there under the left titty. This bag is in category three because she is an occasion bag. The Benedetta Brasiches Le Vitti Mignon bag. This colour, I cannot explain it, but it's more of a bronzy, okay? She does these in loads of different colours and I love, love, love this bag. It is just high impact. This is a fabulous it girl on the town. Is it a GNL girls night out? Are you going on a date night? Whatever it is. If you are going to be out of the house and it is night time, this is the bag, the way that it catches the light, this is a full force sparkle. It's not even coming up on camera as good as it is, okay? Um, it's got this little white buckle. I think all of them have a white crystal buckle. Not had a single one of the crystals fall off. And I do like the slouch of it. Um, very simple inside. You've just got a zip and then, you know, an area there. The Dior Oblique belt bag i think that's the name of it unclear this is in green they don't do the green anymore as far as i'm aware i think they still do a smooth leather and possibly the blue oblique of this okay got a zip and then it's got your card section at the back there and a leather strap that's you know adjustable like a belt okay it's got like the holes and the, and the this thing you know what i mean okay actually i'm gonna put two in one here here we have her other friend okay the gucci belt bag that I just like stan. You know like friends that you have from primary school, okay? Can't relate, I haven't got any. I'm joking, well, um, but <laughs> they last you forever. You might not talk to them all the time, but they're there when you need them, okay? And that is how I feel about this. It is such a comfortable bag. It's a brilliant bag. I'm a fan, magnetic closure in there, fantastic. Here is my, my current beef, and this will change between these two is that I'm just not into belt bags at the moment. And that is fine because inevitably a couple of months will run around and I'll be like, do you wanna know what? She's feeling a belt bag. Whilst they are in category three at the moment, I can see them moving up to category two when the time comes. I don't think you are surprised that this is in category three because this is so tiny. And once again, she's an occasional bag. I, the last time I used her was for a wedding, you know, something like this. Aside from the Petit Chiquito, she is my second most useless mini bag. Yes, but the heart wants what it wants. This is the Lalingi Eclipse mini bag um, in the sort of iridescent -y, uh, mermaid -y texture. Anyway, and then you've got big chunky jewels on the handle. You hold her like this, she does come with a chain. Don't bother with it with a chain. Why are you wearing this with a chain? You know, it's top handle or nothing. And yeah, you're fitting in max two cards into this good luck to you. New to my collection, 
but you know, I've stolen it from my mother. This is the Chanel Cambon reporter bag. She has this in two colors. I was given permission to take the beige. I love it. So I've only used this once, but when I tell you I love this bag for travel, it's just the best. All of these compartments are fantastic. Do you wanna know what? This would also make a very handy um, baby bag. Then we have the main section, which is set up ready to go as if I'm going on a flight tomorrow. My travel wallet with my passport, my little cute character tissues here, little cinema roll on there, thank you very much, love that. And then we have my, essentially what is my first aid kit. It also fits in my Remarkable, you know I love my Remarkable. This on top of my little carry-on case, done. It's a vibe, it fits so comfortably on the shoulder, let me get you up here so that you can see as well, fabulous. It's comfy, it fits everything, you've got easy access. Absolutely obsessed, truly a pleasure to travel with. This is like one of my errands running around totes, okay? Do I need to be somewhere, do I need to do something, do I need to carry things with me? Then this is the one. Does come with a longer crossbody guitar strap. I've used it a couple of times like that actually. It's, uh, it's blue and white. Easy, you have the little Prada enamel logo on the side. She does her job and she does it well. You know I love this. This is my green Gucci multicolour tote that I've had for a few years now. She does have a longer strap. It's huge. It's the same size as the large Dior book tote, okay? She clearly has other travel things in here. She is very hard wearing as a bag. The number of times I've used this and she's been shoved and the overhead lockers on flights and whatever and not a nick on her is very impressive. Thread Styling was having a sale and this bag was 50% off. So I think I got it like 200-ish sort of pounds. Anyway, this was a really random collaboration between Gucci and Comme des Garçons. It is a paper bag wrapped in plastic with the Gucci webbing. It's odd. It also semi looks fake, but in a way that I like and find interesting. Um, I've got a little um, organizer in the bottom of it, but really that's it. It's, you know, branded as Gucci. It's part of the uh, the Gucci vault that they do when they do like random odd little collaborations and whatever. And I like it because it's light. I like that you can fold it and pack it. And I also like the fact that it's just very interesting and odd. <laughs> then as we know, I went to the Bahamas and I needed a beach bag. So I ended up going for the Loewe Fold Raffia Tote from the men's section, which is green with the black um, straps. This was my go-to on holiday. Why? Because you fill it to your heart's content, you throw it over your shoulder, it's great. I wanted a one and done beach tote that I should not need to buy a beach tote for a very, very long time. A prerequisite for the beach totes that I was looking at is I want to be able to pack it. I don't want to have to use this as my carry-on because I don't like, I don't, they tend to not be very structured or they're like that trapezium shape, which I'm not a fan of for, for travel. Clearly I love green. My other travel bag, which is something that I haven't really spoken about too much on here. I basically did a uh, TikTok with MCM and as part of that, got this amazing weekend bag. So this is all leather. I mean, the clue is in the name. Okay, you're going somewhere for a couple of days, maybe one or two changes of clothes, pajamas, your toiletries, you're good to go. I like the fact that you've got the MCM logo lining in the bottom that you can actually take out if you don't want it. Oh my gosh, okay. Ah, 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 in the eye, in the eye, we're fine. The lining otherwise is microfiber suede. I like the fact that it zips down all the way on both sides so that you can really open her wide to access. All of the gold hardware on this bag is 24 karat gold plated, which as we know is a little bit few and far between these days. If you're going to be having a carry-on bag as well, it has this so that it slips over the handles and sits nicely on top of the carry-on case. We are now moving into category two. Fendi Roma Amore Baguette. To have the Fendi Zucker print with the neon piping. Oh my gosh. There's never been a, a more me baguette in existence, okay? And um, this was my first Fendi baguette. The strap that comes with it says Fendi Roma Amore. They did also do this in pink. At one point I did sort of have a, a flat panel that I bought from Etsy for the bottom of it to give it a bit more structure. To be honest, I don't know where that's gone. I mean, I just got it off Etsy. I should probably just order another one. You know I'm a big baguette fan. 
I feel like it is one of those bags that uh, has a home in everybody's collection due to the versatility of them. My first Chanel flat bag. This is like a dusty blue perforated moment. So you have this mesh on the bottom and then the perforated leather as well. All of the hardware is silver. Now look, she has been much loved and enjoyed and that doesn't bother me at all. I just, I really love this. This is definitely more of a casual Chanel bag, you know, because of the fabric and everything. I've used this bag so many times over. I also like the fact that she's easy to pack because she is fabric, but anyway fabulous love again for more of a casual look the third triplet in my family of fendi nano baguettes this is the tiffany uh, nano baguette in the leather this did also come in a satin all of the hardware on this is tiffany silver and then you have the enamel tees as well in the in the bu buckle there buckle on the clasp and then there's the little please return to Tiffany Charm. I mean, obviously it's very special because it's a special collaboration and all of that. I love the very jewelry aspect of it and the fact that, you know, this chain is pretty much the exact same as like one of the charm bracelets. I, wore, I used this recently in Paris, all black outfit and I just did a little bit of a pop and she was fabulous. The Fendi first, this is the large size. They now do it in two other sizes. This is in category two because it's very seasonal. This is very autumn winter, she's cozy. This is a sort of wool fabric with the Fendi Fendigraphy, which are these like curly little Fs. Gold hardware, and I love the pop of gold against the gray. Now, when we open her up, you can fit a lot in there. It's like Mary Poppins tote or whatever she had. Another reason as to why she's autumn winter, not just the sort of like color and all of that, is the fact that the last time I wore this in the summer, she gets hot, especially because of her placement along the body. Like all of a sudden, this part of you is really quite warm and toasty. It's really comfortable on the body with the thick strap. And it's just such an interesting shape. Whenever I wear this bag, I always get compliments. Oh my gosh, that's so interesting. I do love her as a clutch as well. But also there's something about having her just sort of like casually under the arm that's very... I'm a woman of the world and I've got places to go and things to do, okay? I've got a packed schedule. And whether or not I'm actually that woman is up for debate. But I feel like her when I wear this bag. The Chanel Clutch on Chain, I believe is the official name for it. It is this little, tiny little Chanel flap looking mini bag, okay? little magnetic closure there inside you can get cards keys but the best thing about this is the adjustable chain um it's one of those things where if you're running errands and you don't need much with you or if you're again something like a concert something like this is great for a night out okay keep everything close and guess what if somebody gets a little bit too close sod off you know the dior saddle this was from when it first got reissued I've spoken about this sodden story before, I'm not going to go through it all again, but basically this is nostalgia for me. This is something that I'd seen in my tweens and teens and was like, oh my gosh, one day I'll have that bag. And when it was reissued, I was like, it is my time. Blue Oblique, because she's a logo ho. Now, I know a lot of people have brought, bought the extra strap. You can now buy a version that has a strap with it that's also sort of the matching leather. I love her as a shoulder bag. I don't know why if it's again that sort of nostalgia that I have associated with it. They were always shoulder bags. But I think it's really comfortable bag under the shoulder, all of this. Yes, some people think it looks like a liver. She's a sodding icon, all right? This is a historical piece of fashion. What a sparkly, sparkly goddess you are. The Prada re-edition 2000 in the crystals. Now, at the time, this was sort of, I think it initially was a limited edition thing. I, I ended up go, getting mine through thread styling because it was sold out everywhere, blah, 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 right? And obviously since then it's been very popular because now you can get this in a slew of colors at Prada. Whereas the Benedetta Brasiches, she's an evening girl for me. I love her for daytime and I don't know if it's because the style of the Prada re-edition in general, the nylon version is quite a casual bag, okay? You can dress it up, but generally it's quite a casual bag. So I love the fact that this now has crystals on it, but if you still wear it in a casual way, she really packs a punch. Again, this is a situation where not a single crystal has fallen off and departed. 
so love that i don't know how they've done it but excellent job great it's light as well this bag is so sodding light and easy um don't know why i did that to demonstrate fendi and versace joined forces two of my favorite designer brands came together to create a limited edition capsule collection that would be a milestone in my life fendace when i saw this on the runway i was like this is the bag for me i love how it's all silk right it looks very sort of frou-frou and girly with the bow on the side you also do have a crossbody strap with this um i have never used it i mean just like look at the branding of that collab okay with the fendace it's just the attention to details was amazing with the fendi buckle with the medusa just there tying it all together i loved how it was sort of like very girly but with the baroque it sort of dampened the girliness down a bit does that make sense do you understand where i'm coming from even if you don't just nod and basically however one thing i have noticed with this again i don't know if it's the type of fabric or because it's silk or whatever she does get a bit warm during the summer this with a simple outfit packs a hell of a punch okay this is the loudest of luxury and i respect her for that i respect all of her baroque gaudiness she she's not in category one because she doesn't get used as often because once again she's very specific she's got to go with certain outfits i can't just be throwing on anything with this bag as you may be able to tell from my collection i do like the little bit more weird and wonderful limited edition pieces which brings us to the bulgari casablanca top handle I can't remember what they called this bag. Comes with a crossbody strap. Don't you love the fact that they put the green on the part that's going to touch your clothes because of colour transfer? One step ahead. To change the handle, you just squeeze in these little um, things. I am not used to not having nails, but there you go, okay? So one is out and then you literally just pop that straight in. Okay, and then you do the same to the other side to cross body. So you don't have the sort of fiddle of a top handle at the same time as having a cross body. She is meant to be based on tennis, Wimbledon-y vibes, hence the green and the white. Other people see this and they see Krispy Kreme box, okay? I get it. I love an original glaze too, right? So if she's giving Krispy Kreme, then I'm taking it as well. <laughs> You've got the... Um, bulgari bulgari so i didn't pronounce it cassie with his with his little green i believe malachite eyes lots of compartments in the zip pocket you've got baby snake also watching over your belongings here also comes with a raincoat fun fact and then card slots as well very unique very interesting the wooden top handle emulates the old wooden tennis racket handles of years past i just like how sort of different it is i have two of these however i only have one to demonstrate to you because the second one um is on loan to christian for a photo shoot okay so um my birkins as we know my one that's currently working oh my gosh she's a working girl she's so fabulous um is the rouge cellier birkin togo leather size 25 gold hardware and she's stunning although i have used her recently i'm not gonna lie to you i shall insert a picture of her living her very best life in paris but the tones of her are giving very much more autumn winter whereas ivy over here this is a bamboo togo 25 birkin palladium hardware is giving a little bit more spring summer so i have my two seasonal birkins i mean i've gone in depth about these bags previously so i shall not talk your rear about it but i really love the colors i do have i feel like they really work for me in my wardrobe um you know me i'm not necessarily a neutrally gal the fendi peekaboo nano what I love about this is that typically I wouldn't go for the normal size Fendi peekaboo bags, right? Because they're a little bit um, sort of like structured and formal looking for me and my style, okay? But when it's small, it's almost comical, okay? And there's like a lot of fun that comes with it being incredibly ridiculously tiny so that's why i love this i also love the yellow it's that fendi yellow which is you know like very sort of rich it's got a little sort of lever on the inside such that da, 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 excuse me no don't embarrass me there we go this can come off so uh, well it only comes off on one side so you can loop it onto the handle of another bag um 
or whatever, you know, you can have her hanging off and then to, to put her together again, you just, da, da, da. brilliant. She is my only yellow bag, really. I mean, that doesn't really count with the Baroque, does it? It has a crossbody strap. I have worn it both ways. It's great, it's fun. I love the gold hardware against the yellow. Don't be surprised, because I have justification as to why she's in category two and not category one. One of my all time favorite bags, my Chanel Sunset by the Sea, okay? With the, with the resin and the gold chunky links. It's just a perfect bag. Ombre, it's just, with the, with the canvas strap, absolute perfection love this bag so much why is she in category two and not category one because i almost am so obsessed with this bag that i don't want to overuse her you know i'm just i'm just trying to protect her okay and that's why she's in category two love this bag such a unique interesting chanel bag but it's still very chanel the colors are so me Stunning. Okay, so this was the last bag that I was using most recently. What a long way of saying the last time I used this was yesterday. Chanel Jersey camera bag. I believe that's what they're calling it. I got this in 2021, but I actually think it's a 2020 collection piece. Very simple. It's very sort of vintage-y looking. The zip is sort of, it has leather on it and then it's got a little four leaf clover. It's got a pouch at the back. And then on this side of the bag, you have the CC stitched in the side. All of the hardware is gold. It's just a very easy, casual Chanel bag. And that's what I like about it. It's throw on the shoulder and go. You don't have to overthink her. It's great. It's easy. It fits a lot in. Is this my only really pink bag? No. Okay. One of two pink bags she's giving Barbie core. Ferragamo Mini Wonder. One of my most recent bag uh, additions to the family. This, I, I, need, I need to give her a quick wipe because she's got my fingerprints all over it. This is just such a saturated, stunning bag. They do now do this in a blue and green ombre, which I know if it was available at the same time of this, I would have gotten that, but I'm glad that it wasn't available because I have similar sort of tones like that in my bag collection and I really don't have anything along the same lines as this. So it has a crossbody strap. I will sort of say that if you overpack this bag, this is the mini size, they do have bigger sizes. If it's full, what can tend to happen is that these aren't like holding in as much and one of these will flip open and just like open up. So you have to make sure that you're not over packing a bag like this. To be honest with you, I think I've only worn it crossbody once. Most of the time that I use this bag, it is as a top handle bag. It's simple, but it's not boring. And that's what I really like about it. And like I said, it's so oversaturated and juicy. Also, also light. This was a gift from my parents this year. This is the Saint Laurent takeaway box that's actually in the men's section, also available in black. This is a conversation starter um, if you've ever seen one. It looks like a Happy Meal box and it's made out of like, what, maybe four strips of fabric, right? It's got the YSL embossed all over it and then you've got the YSL hardware as well in the middle. It's just a hole, right? There's one little pouch on one side for cards. You're not getting much in there. It can also be a little bit fiddly putting back together because you've got to line everything up, okay? It is just so unique and different and interesting and that's why I love it. And again, that is a consistent theme throughout my collection. And now we've made it to category one. These are my go-tos. A really unexpected one. So this was a gift from the last Fendi show that I attended in February. So they don't actually do this color in the satin offering that they have. Um, they do have some other colors. This is the Fendi Baguette phone pouch, okay? It has this little top handle and it also has a satin crossbody strap as well. I have worn it both ways. Um, I really, really love this and I did not think I would use it half as much as I do. It is a brilliant size. As the name suggests, it does hold a phone. It's giving TBE. And I love this little top handle aspect if I'm having a bit more of like a formal look, but also love it crossbody for a bit more of a daytime moment. I like the, the sort of proportions of it, it makes sense. They also do this in patent now as well as satin. My Chanel 19, 
my one of my few sort of normal my only all black normal bag my only other black bag is a mini bag i have loved the 19 design since it came out i love the mix of metals on the handle this is the small size fits a lot it's just a brilliant everyday bag i will say i don't tend to use this in the um warmer months just because I'm more interested in some fun colours during the spring and summer. But she gets a lot of use in the autumn, winter. Like I said, I like the mix of metals. I'm somebody that tends to mix metals anyway. It's easy, it's light, it's a bit edgy. This was a bag that I did not realise I would use as much as I do. And absolutely love it. The Dior Joy. We know that I was never a like Lady Dior girl and I would try variations and I would be like, why does this not feel right? And then they came out with the Joy, and for some reason I was like, I think, I think it's because it's you. It's you who I've been looking for all of this time. Anyway, the colour is cerulean blue, I believe. And these Joys, they now come in two smaller sizes, the small and the nano. All of these bags have three forms of handle. You have the top handle, you have the shoulder strap and there is a leather crossbody strap. Especially in this size, the crossbody strap is not good. That, it just doesn't look good, it hangs weird. Like, it's quite a, you know, a decent sized bag. You don't want this hanging off down here. It looks a bit odd, but the shoulder strap for this bag is 10 out of 10. And this is what really takes this bag into level one category because she's easy. The handles flop, flop down to make it comfortable by your side. A downside of any Lady Dior bag, she's loud. She wants you to know she's there. You can fit quite a lot in there. I feel like I'm just looking at each of my bags going, oh my gosh, it's a brilliant bag. But you know, I'm sorry. If you don't love your bag collection, then you know, there's an issue. You know, the Bottega Mini Chody was doing the rounds. Seemed like everybody had one. And I was like, yeah, great bag, good for you. Can't relate. And then one day I was scrolling on the website and I saw this and I was like, put it in the sodding cup, swipe the damn card. This is chlorophyll. Annoyingly, this is no longer available on the Bottega website. I only now see it available on the net a website. They also did the pouch version of this, cannot be found anywhere. So it's on its way to discontinuing. So if you like this and you've been putting it off, you need to you need to pull the trigger soon. Is she annoying to get into and out of? Very much so. It's just, it's the juiciness, it's the high octane of it all, it's the just like, the saturation, it's, it's all of the things that I love, that metallic juiciness that reeled me in and all the time now I'm still grabbing for this bag. It also does day to night very well. The universe likes playing sick jokes on me. What do I mean by that? I mean by when I sit here on the internet and I say, I would never buy X item. What tends to happen is that a couple of years down the line, a variation of said item will pop up and then I now am a hypocrite and a liar. I always said I would never have a classic flap. I'm not a classic flap girl. Oh my gosh, this is not for me. And then this glorious mermaid, do you see how this one and this one are related? Okay, cousins. This variation came up in this glorious, patenty, metallic-y ombre. I will also say this looks like, this looks nothing like the colour of this bag on the website. Buyer beware. Luckily, I was just as in love with this as I was on the variation on the website, but they need to sort themselves out. This is just so unique. This is a Chanel rectangular mini. I know it's not technically a classic flat, blah, 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 but I mean, they look the same. So I love this bag so much. I use it a lot. One downside is that the chain strap is quite long. I know if you can get those like clasps to shorten it on the inside. To be honest with you, um, I haven't been bothered enough to look. So it clearly doesn't bother me that much. I also do quite enjoy doubling up the chain. If you're bothered about scratching on the inside of the bag, then probably don't do this, but... I'm sorry, I just caught a glimpse in the viewfinder and I fell in love with her again. She's glorious. Of course I had to. Of course if there was one classic flap that I was going to have, it would have to be this variation because how could I not? My Fendi Sarah Jessica Parker collaboration baguette. Another very special bag. I remember when I first sort of saw it, I thought that this was either Stingray 
or like a certain type of python because of the scales but this is all sequins and it just it's like looking into the ocean so beautiful it also did come in green purple and pink now aside from this it has all of the sort of functions of a normal baguette satin lined it's got um a blue strap to match but the other great thing about this bag and i put them in a little pouch inside is the fact that you can change up the vibe of the clasp so it came with the bubbles on the outside the uh diamante inner my gosh what technical term the marble inside and the crystal oh and the crystal outside so you can change up the vibe a little bit and i do love that sort of variety that comes with the bag it does give it something a little extra and a little bit more special because the only other times you can do that is if you order a custom baguette i knew that i would forget something the alaya mina bag this is the size 25 I, since getting this bag, which is quite recent, no, this is my most recent bag purchase. Oh my gosh, there's far too many. I have used this so much. This is a perfect running around tote situation. Like I'm going somewhere, I want to take a bottle of water with me. Maybe I want an umbrella, blah, blah, blah. You can pinch her in the sides. You can give her a little bit more room. It's very a liar with the laser cutting. That's so true to the brand. Um, it does come with a crossbody strap. I haven't used that yet. Um, and an attached wallet of sorts. It has the little Alaya uh, hot stamping at the bottom there, but it's just light and throw in. And clearly I like these sort of dusty blue colors because they are all over my collection. But I got this in a sale recently and honestly, I have been very, very impressed. How did I also forget about possibly my favourite TBE? This is the Tiny Mini Vanity from Chanel from the Spring Summer 2021 collection. I'm obsessed with it. It actually fits quite a lot in there. Yes, you don't believe me. It's fine. Just trust me. And I also love how easily I can wear this with casual outfits as well as something a little bit more eveningy and dressy. It's so cute. And now we're down to our final two. Poppy. This is my orange poppy mini Kelly in um, Chev leather. She is in section one and the Birkins are in section two because I use my mini Kelly so much more than I do the Birkins. I'm, I'm TBE, I'm tiny bag energy, you know, it makes sense. This is also special because it's a Verso, which means that it's a different color on the inside. You've got its little strap. I wear it both ways. I wear it top handle and crossbody. I'm obsessed with it. She's perfect. I love the colour so much and the fact that, I mean I say this about this colour but it tends to be true of most colours from Hermes, not necessarily neutrals. They shift so much in different lights. Sometimes she's more neon, sometimes she's more pink, sometimes she's more orange. She is a, a versatile queen. And my final bag is the only Louis Vuitton bag that I have with me here in New York. This is my Keep All Excess. This was from the Men's Spring Summer 2022 collection, one of Virgil's last collections for the house. And this, much like the Chanel Sunset by the Sea, much like the Chanel sort of classic flap, the colorway was just instant for me. It was love at first sight and it was, oh my gosh, amazing. I love this bag so much. I love the tiny top handles of it. You know, it's a take on the original big travel keepalls. And for it to be tiny, again, is it gives this sort of like ridiculousness that I love. Colours are not showing up well on camera at all. That It's much more of like a neon situation. I also like the fact that the um, LVs are debossed inside, but there's also shadowing that makes them look like they're in there deeper than they are. It does come with a thick crossbody strap. You can fit a lot in here, okay? This again, you've got a Mary Poppin situation with this one. It's special, it's interesting, it's magical to me. If you made it this far, thank you very much, okay? I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. And in the words of my father... If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.